What is up everyone, Jeremy here. In this video, I wanna talk about Audio Assault and show you how I use their plugins on everything. Drums, bass, guitar, keyboards, you name it. If it's in my mix, it's likely getting a treatment from an Audio Assault plugin. All right, so before I start talking about Audio Assault's product offerings, features, how I use them, how they can benefit you and save you a ton of money in the process, I'd like to kick things off with an audio sample to demonstrate just how great these products are. This audio sample uses a number of Audio Assault plugins like Exciter, a multi-band saturation plugin, FreeQ, an analog saturator EQ, Multitransient, a multi-band transient designer, AHM 5050, an Ampson based on a 5150 that provides both 6L6 and EL34 style tubes, and Clank, a bass preamp. So let's go ahead and give this a listen. So now that you've heard just how amazing these plugins sound, let's talk about how I'm using them and how much they cost. And we're gonna get started with the guitars. So as I mentioned before the audio sample, the guitar tones are being processed using the AHM 5050 amp sim with some free Q, and I'm using their Mesa oversized IR pack. All right, so let's jump back into the DAW now, have a look at these plugins and listen to some audio samples. All right, so here we are. These are the plugins that I use to process the rhythm guitar tones you heard in the audio sample. Quickly running through what's happening here. We are doing some pre-EQ to the DI signal before it hits the amp sim using free Q. Then we go into the amp sim itself and we'll just start at the stomp section. You can see we're using the noise gate, the booster, and the screamer pedal. And the booster, we're just pulling back a little bit of lows, boosting up a lot of the highs. And then in the screamer, we're adding level to hit the amp sim with a hotter signal and boosting up some of the tone there as well. And for the amp settings, you can see we're using the 6L6 tubes and the individual settings I've got there. We're on the lead channel. Then we go into the cab IR loader section, which is turned off in the amp sim. I am actually using an external IR loader but again, it is using the Audio Assault Mesa oversized 4x12 IRs, which we'll get to in just a second. Then there are post effects as well, but I'm not using these on my rhythm tone. After that, we go into free Q again for some post EQ. And this is just basically cleaning up some of the low end, using some of the filters, uh, pulling out some of the boxy frequencies around 500 hertz and boosting some upper mids and highs. And that's essentially it. There is a graphic EQ in the post effects section of the amp sim itself, but I needed a little bit more control. So I went with free Q because you can actually dial in the actual frequencies you want. And you have a, a Q setting, whether you can do like a, sh a, a short or wide Q. So there's a lot more control there. And then for the IRs that I'm using, uh, this is again, the Mesa oversized four x 12 IR pack from Audio Assault and I'm using the DV77 with a 57 mic paired with a G12 M93 with a 4038. So those are being paired on my left channel and on the right channel, it is the G12 M93 4038 again, but this time it's paired with the MBV70 with a 57 mic. And here is an example of what these guitar tones sound like soloed.
And for the ambient guitar tones you heard near the end of the track, I am again using the AHM 5050. This time, there is no pre or post EQ or external IR loader. It's all just the AHM 5050. So running through the settings, we're using the stomp section with the noise gate. We are not using the booster this time, but we are still using the screamer. You can see I've turned up the tone. I've added some drive and pulled back the level a little bit. We're also using the EL34 tubes this time. Turned up the gain, really saturate that signal again on the lead channel at a little bit more top end, less bottom end. And we're using the Bogren Digital Leads and Cleans pack, specifically one of their lead impulse responses. You can see which one I'm using here, and that is the same across both channels. And then we are also using post effects. We're using the chorus, the delay, and the reverb. And here is an example of what these ambient guitar tones sound like soloed. Now here's the best part. All three of these products, those being the AHM 5050, the Mesa Oversized 4x12 IR Pack, and FreeQ could all be purchased together for a grand total of $18.38 with the current deals they are running. Now keep in mind, that is for three products, not just like one amp sim, $18.38. That is crazy. As you can see, the ROI on these products is insane. The same is true for the bass tone as well. I'm only using the Audio Assault Clank Bass Preamp, which offers two distortion modes, two tonal shaping options, a three-band graphic EQ, a built-in dual IR loader, post effects, a whole bunch more, for only $7.99 with the current sales they are running. Even without the sale, it's still only $34.99, which is just crazy to even think about when you compare it to other companies out there that offer very similar products. So with that, let's go ahead and jump back into the DAW, have a look at Clank, and listen to some audio samples. All right, so here we are. This is the Clank plugin, which is being used to process the distortion and the dirt and your grit on my bass tone. So quickly running through the plugin, you have three settings, the stomp, cab, and effects sections. Now for the stomp, this is the preamp itself. This is what provides the distortions, the two different style of distortions and the tonal shaping and the EQ and the mixing and all of that. Then you have your dual IR cab loader. Uh, I did not use a cab for this. This is just running straight through only the, the preamp pedal itself, but you do have some bass IRs that come with this plugin. Then the post effects, which has a compressor and a graphic EQ. So here is an example of what my bass tone sounds like. All right, so moving on to the mixing plugins. And as I mentioned before the audio sample, this mix uses a number of Audio Assault mixing plugins. For example, I used Multi Transient on a snare track to dial back the attack and increase sustain. I also used Exciter on the snare bus to add a touch of saturation and help beef up the overall snare sound so that it can cut through the mix. The synths at the beginning of this track also got an exciter treatment, specifically on the upper mids and highs, to help add bite and allow them to be heard through this dense mix. So as you can hear for yourself, each of these plugins sounds incredible, but how much do they cost? Well, let's take a look. FreeQ is currently $7.99, Exciter is currently $9.99, and Multitransient is currently $7.99 for a grand total of 
and 97 cents. Now, this is with their current holiday and specials and sales that they are running. But even without these sales, these things are still extremely inexpensive for how incredible and musical they all sound. There are a number of additional amp sims, plugins, and impulse responses Audio Assault offers. For example, there is the Sigma, which is a three channel modern high gain monster I did a two minute tone video on previously, as well as the Black Sun, which is a two channel extremely versatile amp that can be used for both guitar and bass tones, which as of shooting this video is still completely free. These and all of their other amp sims come fully loaded with the stomp pedals, the amp sim, the dual IR cab loader section, the post effects with the nine band graphic EQ, the delay, the chorus, the reverbs, they have built in oversampling, all kinds of stuff and more. All right, that is it. That is how I utilize audio assault plugins across my entire mixes. Now, if you found this video interesting or helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down below. And as always, I wanna thank you for watching this video and thank you for your support.